Hey guys, welcome on in for today's video where I'm just going to be quickly showing you the differences here between the new second generation Amazon Alexa voice remote and the old one. And as you can see, they're very similar in design. The only difference here is on the new one. We have a little power button here in the upper left hand corner. And then also we have volume up, volume down, as well as mute. If you're looking on how to set up these particular additional buttons with your new remote, I'll have a tutorial on how to do that linked down in the video description. But all of the other functions are the exact same. I'll just quickly show you the difference here. So when I click the power button, the TV turns off. And when I click the power button again, it turns it on, of course. And once everything is loaded back up, I'm going to show you that clicking the plus on the volume turns up the volume, minus turns it down. And then also clicking the mute button is going to mute the volume, of course, and then unmute it. So those are the differences here between the new second generation Alexa remote. It's really nice having those additional features so you don't have to have multiple remotes to do these different kinds of functions. Now, my TV doesn't have the capability of changing the inputs but a lot of other TVs do. And when you set that up, when you click the little fast forward button, it actually changes to the input that has your uh, particular Fire TV hooked into it. So that's also a nice feature if, you're if your particular TV is capable of doing that. So that's gonna wrap up this comparison video between the new Alexa remote and the old one. Not too many differences, but some really key ones that are very useful and much appreciated. So that's gonna end this one, guys. Thanks for stopping on in. Subscribe for more. And I hope to see you back here for future videos.